introduction, the Chinese language. The Chinese language or group of related language is spoken by the Hans, who constitute 94% of China's population. One word for the language in Chinese is Han Yu, the Han language. The Chinese language is divided into eight major dialects with their numerous sub-dialects. Take me for example, I'm from Taiwan. The official language in Taiwan is Mandarin Chinese. But a lot of people speak the dialect Taiwanese, Ming dialect in Taiwan. In this class, we are going to learn the Ming dialect which is known by various names Mandarin Modern Standard Chinese or Tong Hua call common speech Mandarin is also widely used in Singapore Written Chinese employees the character script, which existed virtually unchanged in China for over 2,000 years until a range of simplified forms began to be introduced by the mainland Chinese government in the 1950s. Words in Chinese are made up of one or more syllables each of which is represented by a character in the written script. Since the last century, Chinese has also been in transcribed into Western alphabetical scripts, and this class makes use of the standard romanization pinyin tones. Mandarin Chinese is a tonal language this means that a single spoken syllable such as ti can have at least four different meanings, depending on the tone in which it is spoken. Let me share an interesting story about tones with you first, then I will teach you the four tones in Chinese language. Trust me. This is a real story. One of my American friends in Taiwan went to a store and he wanted to buy a piece of rubber for a project at the university. And he knows a little bit of Chinese. He wanted to know where to find the rubber in the store. So he asked a worker in the store. He said, which means, I want to buy a piece of rubber. Could you sell me? The worker replied, No, I cannot do that because we don't sell bananas here. Banana. Get a point? The spellings of these two objects, rubber and banana, are the same. They both are, let me show you. They both are X, I, A, N, G. X, I, A, N, G. Xiang. The second word is Jiao, J I A O. See that? The spellings of these two objects rubber and the banana are the same. They both are X-I-A-N-G, J-I-A-O. 
but the tones are different. Rubber is xiang jiao. Xiang jiao. First tone. First tone. And the banana is xiang jiao. Xiang jiao. First tone. First tone. So remember, tones play a very important role in the Chinese language. Let's go to the small board and look at the examples. In Pinyin Romanizations, the official phonetic translation of the Chinese into the Roman alphabet. These four tones are distinguished by the following representative markers. One, two, three, four. For the first tone, second tone, third tone, fourth tone. The first one is to represent the first tone. This represents the second tone. This represents the third tone. The last one is the fourth tone. Let's take a look at this example. The spellings of these four words. See? Are the same. However, their meanings are different because they have different tones. These tones are like changing pitch in English. You may use a different pitch to say a word in English. It may express a different attitude, such as sure and sure. But in Chinese, it changes the meaning of the word. Let's look at a couple examples. The first word is meaning is to kick. It is pronounced like T. The first tone is a flat and a high pitch like the sound of a microwave. Ding, ding. Let's try this tone in pinyin. Repeat after me. T, T, first tone, T. The second word, its meaning is to lift. T, to lift. T, second tone. The second tone is the pitch going from low to high, like what, like what, in English. Let's try this tone in pinyin. Repeat after me. T, T, low to high, T, The third word, its meaning is body. It is pronounced like T, T. The third tone is the tone going down first, then going up, like well, well, in English. So let's try this tone in pinyin. Repeat after me. T, T, you try. T. The fourth word, its meaning is to replace. It is pronounced like 
T T fourth tone T the pitch of the fourth tone goes all the way down like no in English no fourth tone let's try this tone in pinyin repeat after me T T you try T amazing right I hope you have learned the basic idea and the importance of the Chinese tones we will practice more with other characters later in class.